Hi, I'm Yu Yu. The reason I record today's video is that I know many Unity developers are struggling accessing data from Google Sheets since sometime this year. One of the reasons is that there was a very popular Unity um, package called QuickSheet, but it's not working anymore. The reason it's not working is that the Google Sheets API version this package depends on is not supported by Google anymore. Uh, since I'm a Google developer expert, today I want to spend a little bit of time with you on this point. In fact, there is a, an official Google API client library for .NET. This could be a better approach if you want to access any Google APIs, including Google Sheets APIs from Unity. But one problem of using this library is that you cannot find it from the Unity package manager. How do you install this package? The best approach will be through the .NET Nugget package manager. Um, unfortunately, Nugget is not natively supported by Unity, but there is a third-party uh, Unity plugin that allows you to use this package manager within Unity, and uh, you can install it uh, from here. So once you installed this Lugget uh, plugin, uh, you can access the Lugget manager uh, from within Unity. So and then if I search something like, for example, I just type in Google Sheets and search, I will be able to find the library for Google Sheets. But um, be careful that in order to use uh, the Google Sheets client library, you actually need to install a couple of uh, other packages that is, is dependent upon by the Google Sheets API package that includes the Google APIs, Google API Auth, and the API Core, and uh, the Newton Soft JSON package. So you need to install all of them. Once uh, those uh, packages are downloaded, they will be downloaded in this Assets and the Packages folder. Uh, not to be confused with the package folder managed by the Unity. Um, and once those packages are downloaded, you don't really need this manager until the next time you want to update those packages. So the next question would be, how do we actually use this library in Unity? Google has very helpfully prepared a quick start guide. And there are two main steps uh, in this um, code example, actually. The first uh, uh, main steps is you need to be authenticated to this Sheets uh, service, that is the Google Sheets API. And then the second step is to actually use this uh, Google Sheets client library to uh, read the data from a, a Google Sheet that you specified. I think between the two steps, the authentication step may be the trickier one for most game developers. Here in this example, uh, the way of, us, of authentication it uses is called service account authentication. There is another popular way of authentication you may have heard of or have used before, which is called OAuth. Uh, the difference is that OAuth is mainly used for authentica authentication on behalf of your players. For example, a lot of games allow their players to log on with their Google account. So that is a typical OAuth approach. Whereas service account authentication is more like a background service that enables uh, your game to access the data from a specific uh, spreadsheet, which is uh, the case for our game. Uh, for example, we have some data that needs to be loaded when the game starts. Uh, this data doesn't change no matter who this player is. It's just uh, some shared generic data that is used by this game. In this case, service account authentication is more suitable. How do I do service account authentication? Um, service account is essentially a non-user account that only used by your game. Um, to create a service account, you, you will need to go to Google Cloud Platform. If this is the first time you use Google Cloud Platform, you may need to create a new project from here, but this should be fairly simple. And once you are in a project, um, you can go to the uh, IAM and admin and find the service called service account. 
And in here, you will be able to create a new service account if, if you haven't had any. To create a service account is really simple. It's basically you just need to specify a name, account name, and uh, that, that, that's it. And here I have already created a service account before, which is called unity-client. And the, uh, if the format of the service account name is uh, similar to an email address. So once I have got this service account, uh, what I need to do is to copy this email address and then I go to the spreadsheet that I want uh, uh, my game to access data from. Then I click this share button just as how I normally would share this sheet with my colleagues or friends. I paste in this the email address of the service account and uh, I uh, give it some permission either as viewer or editor. If in the game I need to uh, maybe change some data uh, in the spreadsheet, I will give it editor um, permission. Otherwise, I just need to give it a viewer permission. Here you can actually see another benefit of using service account authentication that you, is you can give your game very granular access to a specific Google Sheet. Whereas if you use OAuth authentication, you will have to ask your user to log on with their Google account and give you access to all their uh, Google Sheets data, which is not ideal. Once you sort out the permission, there's another very important step you need to do before we go back to Unity. That is, um, you need to enable the Google Sheets API uh, for this uh, cloud project. The way to do it, I, what I you need to do is uh, just search um, search API and then choose the APIs and the services, which takes me to this page. And uh, if I click library, um, I should see like the uh, a list, a huge list of all uh, uh, available Google APIs. So uh, because the only service I want to use uh, at the moment is Google Sheets. So I just search for Sheets and then I choose the Google Sheets API. And uh, uh, if, if you haven't enabled, you should see that in enable button. All you need to do is just click the enable button and wait for a short moment and you will have the Google Sheets API enabled. Now I can go back to Unity. So. Um, to test the Google Sheet API, I created a, a testing thing and uh, I created a sheet reader uh, script. So if I uh, double click this sheet reader, it takes uh, me to uh, VS Code. And this is what inside this script. So very similar to the quick start in example, I basically um, refer the, reference the spreadsheet ID. By the way, if you are not familiar with uh, using Sheet API at all, you can find the spreadsheet ID um, in the URL of the spreadsheet you want to use. Basically, uh, that is the string between uh, these two slashes. That is the your Google Sheet ID. And uh, I've uh, put the credential in the streaming assets and the credential folder, which can be found in here. So there's a, th this credential is a JSON file that I downloaded from Google Cloud. So where, where can you download this? Uh, again, you need to go back uh, to the Google Cloud Console uh, in the same place uh, of your service account where you created your service account and click this uh, service account name and, and then the keys, um, the keys tab. And here, if you haven't ha added a key uh, before, you, uh, you can choose to create a new key um, and uh, choose JSON format as the, the key format. And then you create, uh, click create. And uh, here, a new key actually has already been created your browser should have automatically downloaded this JSON file. So all you need to do is just put this JSON file in this streaming assets folder. 
Once you have this JSON credentials in your uh, streaming assets folder, you will be able to um, open these credentials in, uh, in your code and then create a service account credential from it and then reference this uh, credential to create uh, to access the Google Sheets service. And then you can use the API from there. At this point, you may have another question that, how do I know this is the way I should use the API client library? Which is a very valid question because without a reference, without a, without a docu documentation, uh, we couldn't have known how to use the client API library. And unfortunately, the reference is not very easy to find. But all the references for the Dolet client library can be found from this page. I have pasted the link here. Um, for example, uh, if you want to um, find the reference for uh, Google Sheets, uh, you just uh, search uh, Sheets uh, on this page, and then you, you can find the latest version, which, which is version 4 here, and then click V4. Um, and then click the um, Dolet reference documentation for the Google Sheets API. So from here, you should be able to uh, find out all the classes uh, available and all the methods available for each class. And finally, I have uploaded this sheet reader C -sharp file um, as a GitHub gist, so you will be able to find the full code sample here. Thank you.